All right, so one of the things that we are going to uh, be looking at is differentiating between things that are matter and energy and the different states of matter. So we're just, this is going to cover the first uh, four or five booklets real quick, all right? Um, so there's some key terms here that I think we should uh, definitely highlight. Uh, one of them is energy. It's the ability uh, to do work, to make things move. And I don't think you can get any simpler than that. Um, you know, uh, uh, electricity is a form of energy, but a rock is not. Okay? Uh, a rock could possess energy if it was held above something and was ready to be released, uh, but electricity uh, or wind are forms of energy. Uh, matter, and we've covered this before, is anything that has mass and takes up space. So a few examples, so for energy, electricity, uh, fire is a form of energy. Anything that has matter and takes up space, uh, humans are made of matter, so are rocks. All right. Now, a property is a characteristic. It's used to describe a substance. An example of this that we've looked at is density. <clears throat> Each substance has its own characteristic unique, unique density, as long as it's a pure substance. If it's a mixture like pancake batter, you can always tweak the recipe a little bit with pancake batter, so not all pancake batters have the exact same density. But all, uh, all uh, uh, um, clumps of, of gold all have the same density. Water always has the same density unless you've mixed stuff into the water. All right, so some other properties. So there's density, there's state at room temperature. And there's a whole bunch of other properties that we could look at, all right? And characteristic is distinguishing trait, feature, or quality, or property. So <clears throat> the characteristics of water, it's a liquid at room temp. or that its density is one gram per milliliter. All right, those are some characteristics or some properties of uh, water. Oh, and this thing's doing something. There we go. So that, that's some properties of water right there. All right, so I'll just quickly read through this. <clears throat> Think of the world around you. Everywhere there are things, matter. You hear, sm smell, taste, and feel them. The world has many kinds of matter. There are, there are water and rocks, wood and metal, plants and animals. Even the invisible air you breathe is matter. The list can go on and on. The world also has energy, like heat, like light, heat, sound, motion, and electricity. The entire universe is made up of matter and energy. There is nothing else. What are the differences between matter and energy? Matter has mass. Matter takes up space. Okay, that's kind of important. So I'm just going to highlight those guys right there. Uh, when I talk about taking up space, I'm talking about volume. Therefore, matter is anything that has mass and takes up space. Energy is not like matter. Energy does not have mass. Energy does not take up space. Energy moves matter. Oh, that helps me out. That makes sense. <clears throat> Therefore, energy is the ability to make things move. I like that. I'm going to put a little star beside that. Light, heat, sound, motion, and electricity are all forms of energy. Why? Because they can make things move. 
In the next few lessons, you will study matter. You will learn about the properties of matter.